So this is a tutorial for the easter egg on training grounds, which you guys might already be familiar with, um, with the soundtrack from Gears of War 2, which plays once you successfully completed the uh, tasks to unlock this easter egg. In order to trigger this easter egg you need at least two players, because you have to stand on certain spots that I will show you pretty soon, and you have to do them in a certain order, otherwise you uh, will be unable to unlock this easter egg. So what you want to do first is, as soon as the game starts, you go to this screen right here where I'm going to, this one, and you want the other person to go all the way to the other side of the other spawn and shoot a specific screen that I will be showing you right after. Once the screen has been shot, you will notice that the screen changes. There's going to be four dots on this screen that are pretty hard to see. There's a green one, an orange one, a red one and a blue one, and basically on the right side you can see three times two squares next to each other and you'll have to stand on these two spots from top to bottom in order one by one. And here I'm gonna quickly show you the screen I was talking before. This one you have to shoot it once and it will switch the other screen by about like five seconds or something where you no, can memorize the colors and all stuff. You can shoot it again and it will switch again. There's just one small thing I'd like to add because during our test we figured out that the order sometimes just didn't work and it turned out that the screen actually changed the orders of the colors on the right side. So the positions on the map is always the same with the colors there, with the circles, but the order that you have to stand on in them can actually change. So you will have to memorize this yourself, so you cannot just copy it from our screen, basically. So in our case we have to start with red and orange, so I'm gonna go to the red spot and Mojo is going to go on the orange spot. I'm going to show you the red spot and it will keep the map open so you can see where he actually has to stand on the orange spot. So the red spot is right here. It has to be relatively precise and the orange spot is up to the top right. He's first going to the wrong location, but eventually he'll move up to the other spot on the orange one. So there you go. He's going right there. And that. You'll notice that you're in the right spot when you hear a little click sound sort of thingy. I'll let you know that again on the next spot, so I'll be quiet here once he goes to the blue spot. Yep. Yeah. So you could have just heard this little uh, sound, green. so that's basically how you know that you've stood on the right spot. And now we're just going to the last spot, so I'm heading over to the green one, while he's going over again to the orange one, and... Then you'll see boom, and that's going to be the third one, and then you can hear a little track, and then that's basically it. Now in order to actually activate the soundtrack itself, you'll have to finish one round, and then it will also only go for one round. You can do it in versus two. We're not quite sure if this is the end of the easter egg, or if you have to do something during the wave, but here you go. Once the screen here finishes, screen transition, you'll hear the soundtrack, and it will play throughout the whole wave. Ah, voila. And that's all you need to know. So, possibly it goes any further, we don't know yet, or we just generally don't know unless some developer of this easter egg is going to confirm that it's done. But, well, I hope you can enjoy, even though in our opinion it's not that interesting. But uh, yeah, that's it.